what up guys? It's good to see y'all, man. My name is Conscience and uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about accountability. Um, this is going to be impromptu, a little bit of freestyle because um, I'm going to make a more elaborate video on this later on. But for right now, I just wanted to kind of summarize and look into a couple of things that provide you guys some content. So here we go. Um, I remember several years back, just reflecting on the fact of, you know, I'm in my mid late twenties. Um, I was married. I had my son on the way and everything. And it's something interesting how time goes by for a little while and you start doing a little bit of this thing called life. And then you look back and you go, man, did I end up where I thought I would be? Um, am, am I the type of man that I wanted to be? Um, Am I treating people the way they should be treated? How did I make use of my time? And you start to kind of critique yourself and go through this self accountability, this kind of check mark, this benchmark of like, where am I? And when we talk about accountability, I know for me in my late twenties is when I really started to take full accountability. You know, I, I took accountability before for all the things that I had control of, um, well, let's not put it that way. I, I took accountability for what I thought was everything when really when it came to kind of the big dreams, the big goals, the, the tough stuff, I found that I had put a lot of effort in and then at some point gave up on it wherever the, the roadblock of death came. And that was really hard for me to stomach because I always just blamed it on not having enough resources or you know, just all kind of your, your brain finds tons of ways to justify it. And what I found was, is that in certain areas of my life, there were things that I did where I hit a roadblock and rather than acknowledge that roadblock and the steps that I needed to take to get past it out of fear and out of fear of pain and things like that, I would literally just do the same thing over again, almost like as if that was like validating, you know what I mean? It might've been with my music where I did my music and I worked hard to just make more music, but I really wanted to market it and get it in front of more people. And I, and that never happened. So rather than learning how to market to people, I stopped at a certain point with learning that and then just went back to making music at a high quality. And I justified not learning how to do the marketing by the fact that I could do the other thing at a high level. And so I put all this effort into this divergent plan rather than address it head on. And fear of pain was a big thing for me. I realized when something was, and I equated it to working out because it, it's similar. The thing I hate working out, or the thing I hate about working out is pain. When I hit that pain point, how I deal with that pain, it's like somebody needed to be there to help motivate me or I needed a, a music on or I needed an energy drink to feel that that robust, like, yeah, I'm going to take pain head on. But when it was just me and that pain, I crumbled a lot of times. And it was really interesting analyzing that because I was like, man, certain levels of pain I fold under. And with accountability to the things that I wanted to accomplish in my life in certain regards, I would mask that pain by just doing something else that I had already accomplished thinking and then make up an excuse over here or just hide from addressing that thing because nobody saw that thing and it would eat me alive. And then time would go by and I'd go to assess myself and go, wow, I never actually, my music is actually not where it wants to be. My business is actually not where it wants to be. My spiritual life is not where it wants to be. And so when we, when we talk about accountability, you know, um, it's, it's crazy because we really need to grow up. We really need to look in the look in the mirror. It's not about everybody else. It's not about all these different things or opportunities you lost or what you did with one moment or circumstance. Um, it's all an accumulation of like a mindset going on inside. Do you have the fundamentals it takes to work hard? You know, do you have a work ethic? Do you have confidence? Do you have faith that no matter what comes at you, you're going to learn? Are you learning? Are you being critiqued by your community and getting feedback and listening to it? You know, there's a lot of factors that go into it. And so um, I know for myself, when it comes to accountability, 
uh, of like a big goal that I'm trying to conquer. And, and mind you, before I get into this, I just want to say, as a believer, I believe God is sovereign. I believe that God doesn't make mistakes. And I want to live my life in such a way that is that says, no matter what, God's got me. God's going to keep conforming me to the image of Jesus. He's going to keep drawing me to himself. He's going to keep shaping my character. He's going to proclaim his name to the world through me. Um, but I also believe that there's a component on my end of participation that I can hold myself accountable to in terms of, am I actually putting in maximum effort? Am I continuing to learn? Am I taking in feedback and critique from others and things like that? And so at a very horizontal level, um, we need to be real with ourselves and say, how much are we contributing to this equation? And in my life, that all changed when I realized, man, I need to take full accountability for where I am right now. No matter what has happened to me on the outside, did I let that impact my input to change my situation? And that's where it all changed because when I held myself accountable to the music, myself accountable to the spiritual walk, myself accountable to being a husband, myself accountable to being a father, myself accountable to being a friend, myself accountable to the dreams that I have, my, myself accountable to how I responded to adversity, everything changed. I even had a moment where I just cried because I realized, wow. You never looked yourself in the mirror on some very deep things. And had you done that, you could have had the choice to make a different choice, and that's to move forward. And the moving forward part, there's actually solutions. You know, sometimes things are more black and white than we make them out to be. We try to overcomplicate a scenario just to avoid admitting that we're falling short there and we're not putting in the effort or that we don't, we don't actually want that job. We don't actually want to improve in that skill. We don't actually want to mend that relationship. We, we don't want to actually admit that we're wrong. And so there's some components to this moving forward equation that I want to give to you. Um, and that's in an acronym called LAC. And hopefully I don't forget the words for that acronym. <laughs> but we're going to try to just go through it. It's, so the L would be learning. To move forward. You have to learn. Whatever it is that you're trying to conquer in your life, are you learning? Are you constantly learning? Are you learning from other people who are experts? Are you getting diverse learning? Are you learning from multiple sources? Always have the capacity and the effort of learning on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis. Learning about that thing that you're trying to conquer. Um, A would be action. Are you actually making action steps to apply the learning to and develop wisdom, which is the knowledge applied, that working like a muscle, all those actions over time contribute to your understanding, your true understanding, not just head knowledge, but actual movement and experience and reflection. Are you taking action? Um, the C would be uh, consistency. Are you being consistent? So many times you know what to do, you know the actions to do, but you refuse to do them consistently. You're seasonal. One minute you're, oh, I got this and got this and multi plan. And, uh, uh, thinkers really do this a lot. They figure everything out before they even take the first step. So they figured nothing out, right? And so consistency is really huge. A lot of people fall short in this category. Are you learning? Are you taking action? And are you being consistent with that action? The last part of LAC, L-A-C-C, is going to be the critique. Are you subjecting yourself to a faculty of people that you trust? And maybe you don't have a ton of people you trust, so for the meantime, you have to go out to Outside resources, whether that be the internet, a smaller community outside of your own, um, a consultation with somebody, somebody older than you, somebody who's been where you are trying to go, are you getting critique? And when you get that critique, are you getting a lot of it so that you can have a well-rounded sense? A lot of people hear critique from one or two people or a couple or a small group or one type of community, and they think they figured it all out based off of that feedback. No, get 
cons- get a well-rounded sense of what's going on. You know, hear from people from multiple walks that have accomplished that thing or are in different levels of that and, and get a sense of well-roundedness with that critique. And then once you get that critique, actually apply it. You know, be honest with yourself. Where are they right? Where are they wrong? Apply it. You might be unsure about something someone said, but until you do it, you can't really have feedback about it, right? And either way, it's all momentum going forward, but you know what isn't? Taking what they're saying and going, you know what? I'm not going to do that because of X, Y, and Z. To sum it all up, guys, to hold yourself truly accountable, looking yourself in the mirror and saying, This is what I need to do next. Whatever it is, that big goal that you have, that discipline that you have, pick the subject because I'm sure there's, if you're anything like me, there's a lot of them. You need to learn constantly. You need to take action constantly. You need to take action consistently. Build consistency. If you don't have consistency, throw everything else out of the window. And once you have the learning in place, the action in place, the consistency of the action in place, subject yourself regularly to critique so that you can get a well-rounded, healthy perspective on your thinking, where you're at with your results, and the tweaks that you need to make going forward. I hope that helped you guys out with your accountability so that you can conquer the goals in place that you want for your life, you can create the life that you want for yourself. And guys, again, at the end of the day, Prayer is huge. Talk to God. Say what you say what you want. Read the word. Hold yourself accountable to the, the character that you should have while pursuing these things. Know the things you should have a loose grip on. Know the things that you should have a tight grip on as far as the character you want to create and the, and the responsibility, the hierarchy of responsibility you have to have in your life. Because we're not going to make idols of these things and prioritize them above certain things. But wherever they fall in that hierarchy, you want to have character and action that makes sense for where that's positioned in your life. So we we do all things unto the glory of God and we prayerfully say, God, shape me, mold me, help me. I need you. No matter what, when all this stuff goes away, all I'll have is the relationship with you and the people uh, who are who are being brought in. So um, we know that to be the case. You know, God is always supreme in that regard. But then on the horizontal level, God, shape me and mold me. Help me to conquer these goals. And if the goals don't succeed, I still have all the principles and everything I need to go move on to whatever else God would have for me, right? So I hope that's super helpful for you guys. Um, always keep your contentment in the Lord, right? Because as you go through this journey, uh, a contentment in Him will will wash away all of that. But these are just some healthy things to go about where if you're going to work hard and try to conquer some goals and you're going to try to be the man or woman God's called you to be, um, you're going to have to have these principles and disciplines in place to take you wherever God's going to take you so that you're prepared when you arrive at that opportunity and you could take full advantage of it. Guys, I've said this before, live today as if tomorrow you're, you're, you're not, as if tomorrow's not even coming. What type of life would you live if you knew Today was all you had. Put it all on the line, guys, because tomorrow is not promised. Hope that blesses you guys. And until next time, peace.